everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video you are going to learn how to convert a primal problem into the dual problem i have already done a video where i have taught you how to convert the primal into dual so i will be doing a numerical over here for you so let's just get into the video so this is the question given to us where we have to maximize 2x plus 7y subject to these two constraints where both x and y are positive in that video, I was telling you about how to convert the primal problem, the given problem into the matrix formulation. So I'm using the same techniques to convert it. If you haven't seen that video yet, please go to the link in the description box below for going to the video of duality, right? So I'm first converting this into the matrix form to write the dual for this problem. So this is my primal problem. So converting it, I can write it max c dash x subject to a x less than equal to b. So c dash would be my 2, 7 and the variables are x and y. x, y. Subject to a. a will be 4, 5, 3, 7. Similarly, the variables are x, y, less than equal to b would be 20 and 21. If you will open it, you are going to get the same system of linear equations. As you can see, 2x plus 7y subject to 4x plus 5y less than equal to 20. Then we have 3x plus 7y less than equal to 21. Now, how do we make the dual problem? For making the dual problem, what we just do is, first we are going to do minimize, right, minimize. So minimize what we are going to do, since we are using x, y variables here, we cannot use it. What you can do is, you can use u1, u2, uv, pq, any other two set of variables. So I'm going to write it, let's say u. So u will contain u1 and u2. So how we used to convert it, I have already talked about that enough in the concept video. So to convert it, I will be having u dash b subject to u dash a since I had less than equal to, so I would be having greater than equal to at this place. So I just have to pick values from these matrices, put them there and my work would be done. I would be getting my dual answer. So let's just take these values from over here for finding the dual problem. So I've already written these values over here. So what are we going to have? Now, this is my C dash matrix. I need to insert my C dash matrix into the constraints here. Whereas this B matrix would be lying in my objective function. So in U dash, since I was telling you that U, you can take as U1, U2. So this is going to be a column vector first, U1, U2. When I do its transpose, it's going to be u1 and u2 like this. So if I want to put it, let me put the values only, minimize u dash. Since it is a transpose, the u1, u2. Then b, what is the b vector is? It's 20 and 21. Now, subject to u dash a. So I'm going to write it here subject to u dash again u dash is u1 u2 what is the a vector a vector is this 4 3 5 7 so 4 3 5 7 after that c dash c dash over here is 2 and 7 so i will put it here 2 7 like this so if i open it up i'm going to get another set of my primal problem over here so what it is going to be it will be minimize let me open it. 20 u1 plus 21 u2. Subject to 4 u1 plus 3 u2. Then after that, since this is first row and first column, I get first row, first column entry. First row, second column. So u1 5 plus 7 u2. So since it was first row, second column, so it will be entry of first row, second column, product matrix. So I put it here. Because the dimensions should also match when you are multiplicating it. 
So if I just have to open it, I can write it like this. Uh, since this is the second element, I can write it here. Because I'm now not writing it in matrix form. I'm opening this matrix over here. So I can do this. But when you write in matrix form, please pay attention to the dimensions. It will be greater than or equal to 2 and it will be greater than or equal to 7. Where both u1 and u2 is going to be strictly, not strictly, greater than or equal to 0 over here where u1 and u2 are going to be greater than or equal to 0. So this thing over here written down in the black color is my dual problem of the given primal problem over here. So see how easily we have converted our primal problem into the dual problem. Correct? So this was the solution to the duality question given in the video. I hope you like this video, you found it useful, like this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, also let us know the other topics on which you want videos from our side. Thank you everyone for watching.